Soil Sampling Site Investigation Aparatus yang digunakan adalah Excavation Tools 150mm Auger Road Connectors and Spanner Sampling Tool 38mm Diameter Sampling Tube Extractor Knife or Saw or Ruler Who to clean up the site surface after dig Procedure First is on the fill Dig a hole using a hand agar into the ground approximately 1m depth. Connect a sampling tube to the sampling rod. Place the sampling equipment into the hole and press into the soil. Collect at least 3 samples of indisturbed soil and 5kg disturbed soil from the hole that has been digged. In the laboratory, after grazing up the suitable mold, Connect it to the extractor apparatus, remove the undisturbed soil sample from the sampling tube and using a saw or knife, trim the edges of the sample to obtain, obtain a clean cylindrical shaped soil sample. And then, measure the diameter of the sample, obtain the mass of the sample and, det and determine the brook density. After that, Determine the moisture content of the soil such as obtain the, the mass of an empty container plus approximately 30 grams soil sample into the can and obtain the mass of the can with soil sample. After that, place the soil sample into the oven at 105 Celsius for 24 hours and then obtain the mass of the dry can with soil sample and then Repeat these steps to take at least 3 readings for a more accurate result. Procedure using the apparatus. Use the agar to make the soil to depth of 1M. The equipment will connect it to the sampling devices. Make the sampling device lower to the bottom of the hole and then push it into the ground. Put the disturbed soil samples in a bag. Data accumulation first. Before arriving to the field, determine the number and approximate location of soil sample. Then, travel to the first sampling location. At the sample location, remove any crop residue from the soil surface. And then, insert the soil crop to the desired depth. Take care to ensure the crop is inserted vertically into the soil and not tilted to the side. Remove the crop and transfer the soil core from the crop into a bucket. After that, move to a new location and repeat step 3 and 4. The distance between locations where you collect subsamples will vary depending on the sampling strategies you, you are employing. And then, continue this process of sample collection at new locations until you have collected a sufficient number of samples. Then, place one or two cups into a sample bag. Using a permanent maker, label the bag with a unique name. After that, send the sample to the laboratory. For safety procedure, first wear a safety shoes, then use the equipment it carefully, and then storing the equipment in its originally place after use. This that may occur while carrying out practical work is fire or explosion. Injuries caused by equipment does not comply with established rules and safety.